Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm going to share with you how to create three adaptive progression bar in DaVinci Resolve using expression and curves. So let's check it out. Alright, so in DaVinci Resolve right now on the edit page and last week I shared with you how to do a progression bar using keyframe in the edit page. Right now I'm going to share with you how to do it in Fusion using expression and curves to create a title that can be adaptable and stretch and basically the progress bar will match the length of the composition. So let's jump right into it. We're going to go over to Effect, Effect and here Fusion Composition, drag that in our timeline Then we can move over to Fusion. Here we're going to start with a background, we're going to just drag that in the working area and we're going to bring the alpha channel down to zero to have transparency just gonna set our canvas and then we're just gonna bring another background link the output of that background to the first one it's creating a merge node and then we can just link the output of that merge to all media out now i'm gonna select that background and here i'm gonna change the color to green because that's the color i want my progress bar to be and then while i still have my background node selected i'm just gonna click on the rectangle mask which bring up that mask that we can just change and adapt to create our shape. So right now I'm going to go to center X and I'm just going to bring that to zero. It just bring the center of that rectangle to the edge of our canvas. And now basically when we're increasing the width value, as you can see, we have the rectangle stretching from left to right, which is going to create our progression bar. Now for the height, I'm going to go with 0.1 and then we're just going to bring that bar down here. And now for the animation, we're going to use an anim curve. So I'm going to right click on width and here we're going to go with modify with anim curve and open up the modifier right there. And I can just go to modifier, switch it for duration. And now if we play it, as you can see, we got all progression bar just stretching. But the problem is that here it's stopping uh, about midway. You can then adjust the length of that progression bar here with the scale. So in that case of that frame, we're going to go at 2.02. .02 just going a tiny bit over the edge of the frame. And now basically we have the progression bar going from left to right completely. Now the cool thing with Anim Curve is that if I'm going back to the edit page and I'm stretching that out, as you can see, it will just adapt to the length of the composition. And now if we're playing it, it's just adapted. So you now have a responsive title. Now let's go back to Fusion. And now we're gonna bring a text here with a contour that's gonna go from zero to 100%. To do that, we're going to start by bringing here a text node in our working area, and then we're going to link the output of that text to the merge too. It's just going to create a new merge and bring that text in our composition. Now I'm going to go over to the text box, right click on it, and here I'm going to select expression. It just prompt open that new box where you can basically write your expression. I'm just going to paste the following expression. You can find it in the description below. I'm quickly going to explain to you how it works so you can just make the adjustment that you would like, uh, but I'm not going to go into detail. Uh, there is all the video on expression I think on the channel that you can check out so basically this is the expression that gonna create the counter and here uh, you can add some text it can be progress progression or whatever you want and uh, you can here instead for example have a dollar instead of percentage so you can uh, really adjust that as you want if you wish to remove the text you can just easily do that by keeping only the number expression right there and now you just have the number counting up. So now we can just bring all text down and just put it onto the progression bar. Here I'm gonna switch the font for Montserrat, reduce the size a tiny bit, and then just here after my progression bar, I'm gonna add a glow. So I'm gonna just select the merge to it shift space on my keyboard, search for glow, and here I'm just gonna bring a glow node. Now to give more texture to our bar, we can just bring a fast noise. So here I'm just gonna hit shift space again, search for fast noise, and then I'm just gonna bring that in our working area, link that to our glow bring the scale up, bring the detail up, and bring the seat rate up. And that's pretty much it. That's how you will create a progressive bar that is adaptive and reactive in DaVinci Resolve in Fusion using curve and expression. So now that I've laid out basically all the principle using curve and using expression, I'm gonna show you now two other styles that you can create. So now let's start fresh. I'm just gonna bring a first background again to create my canvas, bring the alpha channel down to zero, then bringing a second background I'm going to link the output from the second background to the first one, creating a merge and then link that output to the media out. Then I'm going to select my background too. I'm going to switch the color for white and still with my background too selected, I'm just going to click on an ellipse mask. We're going to link the width and the height with expression. So I'm going to right click on the width here, expression and link 
that to the height. So now we can just easily reduce that circle and retaining uh, a perfect circle shape. Now I'm gonna click solid and here I'm just gonna increase a bit the border width. I'm gonna reduce the size a little bit more and now we're gonna make an anim curve animation with the lens right here. But first off, I want to adjust here the position. So here the position, I'm gonna go with 0.25. So basically then it will be started from the top right here. Here we go. Now I can right click on length, modify with anim curve, go to modifier, switch to duration and now we have a progression circle i can then proceed to just bring another text node link that to the merge tool here we can right click to the box go to expression paste the expression that we paste earlier for this one i'm just gonna keep the contour i don't need the word again so i can just remove that i'm gonna switch the font to Montserrat once more and now if we play it we get our second progression bar this time it's a circle just going from zero to a hundred now for the last one we're going to do a progression frame so i'm going to bring again one background bring the alpha channel down to zero bringing in a second background linking those two linking the merge two to the media out go to background two, change the color to whatever we want so here i'm just going to go with red Still with my background tool selected, I'm gonna bring a rectangle and mask. Here I'm gonna change the width and the height to one. So the width at one, the height at one. So it take the entire frame. Now I'm gonna untick solid. And here I'm just gonna bring up the border width. And we're basically creating a border all around our frame. And that's gonna be the same process as the previous title. I'm gonna put an animation curve on the lens right there. But first I'm gonna select where I want this to start. So here I'm gonna adjust the position. And basically I want it to start from a corner. So we're gonna do it like this. So now basically if I were to adjust the lens, as you can see, it starts from one corner. Now I can just right click on the lens, modify width, anim curve, go to modifier, switch that to duration. And now if we play it again, we got a progression frame going on right here. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what kind of video you would like to see next and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.